it was not just thing. Uh, there was a, a pill start for um, for uh, people who were afraid to take it, give them headaches and all sorts of things we were told about. It, but uh, I never took it. Most people didn't. You just had your baby as well as this. Yeah. We didn't really talk about contraception because we were too embarrassed, being the age you were. And um, if you're with a guy, um, the only thing you did was ever kind of smooch or snog a guy, nothing else. To play, you used to chalk on the ground, and you made beds, and you kicked a picky around them. I have many hobbies. I just like to hang around with my friends, play football on the road, kick to can. Well, I do dance every Thursday. I'm in a club, and um, I've been doing that since I was three. Then, uh, I was in school and somebody had wrote on something and the teacher said, you did that. And I said, I didn't. And she said, you did. And she sent me into Sister Anthony and she turned around and lifted up a cane and slapped me. Every time I said, no, I didn't do it, she slapped me. And I ended up crying. And I have an artificial eye since I was two and a half. And them days, it was a glass eye, not plastic. And my eye fell out and broke. God forgive me, I was probably delighted I got no more slaps. <laughs> Well, I didn't really like school because in primary school, um, er, you, the principal at the time was a nun and she was very cruel. So by the time I got to secondary school, I felt I was very weak because I was very scared all the time in primary school. But I did like it. My only stead for my intermediate certificate. I didn't want to do my leaving. It was okay, but I left again at 14, so I didn't go through much school. Well, we used to join clubs and they paid for it. Clearly. You had a a perm club for your hair, you had a chemist club, six months a week, a three and three shoot club and you know them clubs you yes. you know, you're, you're younger than me, you weren't maybe you weren't in no, these I clubs. No, I wasn't in the tennis club. All no. these clubs and that's how we dressed ourselves and the fashions in the fifties was fantastic. I think the clothes are beautiful now. Fashion was like today, changed all the time. I would love to be fifty again. I'd I wouldn't like to be a teenager or a kid or even a 20-year-old 20, 20 again. I'd love to be 50. 50, yeah, be lovely. 50 forever. 60s, I actually would have liked to be in the 60s. I like the fashion out of the 60s. I would have liked that. My own generation. Kids nowadays are too spoiled. There might be no teenagers in the future. <laughs> They're all too well up. Scary. And I don't know how scary. It's, I feel you know so much now. Uh, I'd say everybody would be techno technology. I'd say it would be just phones, computers. Completely different from today. It would be all technology. There would be no books. Kids would be coming in on hoverboards. All technology, nothing. 